Well, hello and good morning, everybody. I have another beading uh, tutorial that I want to share with you today. Um, this particular bead I am calling Peacock. I even put a feather on the bottom of it because it looks so much like a peacock. And I hope you can see all those crystals and all those gorgeous beads. I've got it hanging from a bulb pin, and I just put some pretty beads on that too. So I'm hoping that you can make this out and see what I'm doing today. I'm going to show you how to make this. Now, I will tell you ahead of time, it's, it's a lot to it. It does take some patience. Um, but if you're patient and want to learn how to do it, I can show you how to do it. So I have a beading needle. I don't know what size these are, guys. It's just the long, skinny beading needle that is very, very hard to thread. <laughs> but if you use Wildfire or Fireline, either one, um, it's kind of stiff. And I take my scissors and I cut the end of my thread at an angle. And then if I hold it real, real close, I can get it through there. Okay, so to make this bead right here, I just kind of made up my own pattern. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with 10 seed beads. Now these are 15-0 um, seed beads, I believe. They're very, very, very tiny. One, two, three, four. I have me a beading board ordered. So hopefully I will be better at it than this because I struggle. Okay, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we have 10 um, pretty tiny seed beads. So I'm saying they're probably 15s. Um, I don't know because I just have a little Ziploc and I... But you can use any size you want to, but these have to be considerably smaller than the, the other um, crystals that you use. Now, the crystals I used in here are 4 millimeter. So I've got some 11 seed beads, I've got some 15 seed beads, and I've got some 4 millimeter crystals. All right, so I'm starting with my tiniest ones, and I wanted my bottom and top circles to be gold. So I loaded on 10 gold. Then I'm going back through right where I started to begin with. And what that does is that will create a little circle. All right, so we're going to pull this tight. And then we're going to go back in again. Same direction that we just keep going. We go back in about it doesn't really matter. Two or three seed beads and pull. All right, now see our little circle? We have our little circle. All right, now let's tie this tail because we do not want it to come undone. And when I get finished with the whole thing, I put just a little dot of super glue or gorilla glue or something on this knot because I do not want my knot to come undone. <laughs> and I usually tie three or four times. I just, I really, I do, you don't want to do all this work and it come undone. You don't want to take no chances. Okay, so that's about four. Okay, now, now for the fun part. All right, so see where, I, where my knot is. I'm going to go in to... Where is my knot? Oh, come on, you. All right, so I'm going to go into the next about two seed beads. Okay, just moving down a little bit. All right, now what we want to do is load up a series of beads. This is going to be so pretty. You're going to love it. So you can do this in any pattern you choose. So I'm going to show you my pattern. You can do anything you want to. I did two dark pink. Now, these are the larger seed beads. These are probably 11s, probably. So, let's see. I did two dark pink. Then I'm doing one of these even larger um, um, peacock colored. No, I don't know what color that is. But it's just a little bit larger. 
um, I'm doing that. Let's see, what did I do next? Okay, and then I've got some lime green. Now, these are kind of tiny, but like I said, I'm just mixing and matching. I'm using what I got, what I have on hand. So I did four, two pinks, two pinks, one of the dark ones, and then four um, olive green. Then we're going to go another dark one, and we're going to go two purples or whatever color. This is kind of a bluish purple. I'm just thinking peacock colors. All right, so we got those two kind of bluish purples. Um, let's see what I want to go next. Okay, let's see how many we got. That should be about 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so I have 10 beads on there. Let me show you what we've got so far to make sure you're with me. I know I got a little confusing. Confusing. Can you see that? Oh, I hope you can see it. So I've got my circle. I've got two pink, one dark one, four lime green, one dark one, and two purplish looking. All right. Now I'm going to add a gold, and then I'm going to add this same combination going back down. So I'm going to start with the two dark purples. So I'm just looking at my combination. Then I've got a dark one. Then I've got four lime greens. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then I've got a dark one. And then I've got two of the dark pinks. One. And I'm dropping them. Come on, you. One, two. Okay. All right, so here is what is on your thread. I know that's a lot, but we're just going to do that same thing five times. All right, see if you can see that. So I have 21 beads total, but I have 10 in a pattern, one gold in the middle, and then 10 in the opposite pattern. That's very important. All right, now we're going to go down here to the last seed bead that I just came out of, and I'm going to go back in there, and we're going to make a loop. There's our loop. Then we go into the next two seed beads and we do that same thing again. All right, starting from the beginning. All right, so we want two pinks. One, two. Well, I said two before I got it, didn't I? And then a dark one. Uh-oh. And four lime greens. One, two, three, four, and a dark one, and two of the darker purple beads that I've got. They're kind of periwinkle. I think I'd call that periwinkle. All right, and then, of course, gold in the top. Then we're going to go backwards. We're going to go two periwinkle coming down. Come on, come, come, come. All right to Periwinkle. We're going to have one of these dark ones over here. And let's see, we're going down four lime greens. And you'll be so glad you got a pattern like this when you get to do the rest of it. I don't have to say count down four beads, seven beads. I'll say go in the gold one, go in the green ones. <laughs> you'll be so glad. It'll just make it easier. All right, got four lime greens, a dark one, and we need two dark pinks. One and two. Okay. Now, we are going to go back into that last seed bead that we just came out of. Just one. Go back into that one. Make another loop. And go into the next two seed beads. Okay. Can you see where I'm at? Try to make it as plain as I can for you. Now, we're going to do that same thing three more times. We're going to make five petals. Okay, so I am on my last loop. I threaded on my beads. I went back into the same seed bead I came out of. So this is my fifth loop. 
and I trimmed that little tail just to kind of get it out of the way a little. So we've got five loops. Now that's just beautiful as it is. Isn't that precious? Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so just like we did on the others, we're going to go through two seed beads. The next two that are in the circle, those are the gold ones that we started with. Uh -oh, we're catching things. All right, so we got those two. All right, now we are going to go up the petal where we are, right on top of where I came out. Now, I could say go up um, to the 11th bead if your beads were all the same color. But since ours are a different color, we're going to go to that gold one all the way to the top. All right, so go to the gold one or go to the 11th bead up. And you'll have to travel to get there, so... There's about four. Go through those four. And then we're going to go through five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And here we are in the gold bead at the top. Okay, I'm going to show you what that looks like. All right, so we're in that gold bead. We went through that gold bead right there. Turn my work this way. Now, my thread's coming out, going to the left. So now we're going to pick up one gold bead, and we're going to go in the gold bead on the next petal at the top. That top, go well, hello, come here, you. We're going to go in that bead, that gold seed. We're going to do that all the way around. Okay, so pick up. Pick up a gold seed and go through the next petal's gold seed only. Just that one gold bead. It's going to draw them all together, you'll see. All right, another gold into the next petal's gold. These things are so, so tiny. You'll need good light and probably glasses unless your eyes are really good. All right, picked up a seed, went into the next petal. Here we are on the last one. Pick up a seed, go into that next gold seed. Now watch what happens. When we pull this, it just pulls it all together. So we're going to make a little ball. All right, now to go inside of our ball, you need a 12 millimeter bead. I'm using this because it just kind of looks like my peacock colors. <laughs> so I'm going to use this bead. It goes inside here and we are going to pull this netting up around it. And if you've got the right size bead, you'll know it because see our little circle where we started, our little gold circle? This little gold circle will be about the same size. And if it's too big, your bead's too big. If it's all bunched up, your bead's too small and these things will be loose when you're done. So 12 millimeter works really good. Now we're going to go into the next two gold seed beads and pull. Now we're just tightening the circle. Go into the next two all the way around. Just keep going. If you accidentally go through three at a time, it's okay. Go for it. All right. Pull those two. Pull these two. I usually go about, you know, two, four, six, eight, and then I start tightening. See, it makes a pretty little circle. All right, but we want to keep going. The more you go, the tighter it's going to be. Now you will have to go through these seed beads a few times, so that's one why you want to make sure you're using a tiny cord and a beading needle, so any other needle would not work. Okay, now, I went about 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, you know, I just went around a few times, and it's looking tight. So I'm at the top of this spoke. We're going to call these spokes, okay? I'm at the top of this spoke where I came out. I'm going to go down in to the first seven or all the way to the end of the green. If you did the pattern with me, go to the end of the green or through seven seed beads. 
All right, so we're going to pull this down. Now, keep holding it in this direction. We are going to load on, and it would help if I poured them out, wouldn't it? These are my crystals. That's not the container they came in. I just had it stuck in there. And for this, I want to do a gold seed, a crystal, and these are just um, aqua, teal. I'm not sure. They're just gorgeous, <laughs> whatever they are. All right. I went seed, four millimeter crystal, and seed on my needle. Now, I'm still holding the bead in the same direction. My thread's coming off the top. I'm going back into those four green. And we're going to work in greens for a little while. All right? So we go into those four green and pull. Move that out of the way. Pull. And see, that sets up there. Now, all right, so we pulled through this way. Now, turn your bead over upside down, if you will, and go back through that gold seed and the bicone only. All right. Now we're going to go through a gold seed. We're going to turn again. There's a lot of turning. Go to the next spoke into the four green. We're going to work the four green only. All right. Now, if you're not doing colors, these are beads four through seven, four, five, six, and seven, if you're doing all the same color. And then we're going to add one seed, and we're going to go back up through the bicone, not that seed, just the bicone, and the seed on the top, as far as the gold. I'm talking about the gold, all right? Now, if you didn't get it, it's okay. We're going to do it nine more times, <laughs> all right? And then, do you see, I turned it again. I forgot to tell you. I pulled that, and I turned again, and I, we go back down those four green seed beads in the second spoke again. One more time. Ta-da. That one's finished. Okay? Let's do it again. So we need a gold seed bead. We need a crystal, and we need a gold seed bead. We go back into those same four green ones again. She's getting tight in there, too. Okay. So I'm pulling it out the top. Turn your bead over. Well, Carrie, get back in focus over here. I'm sorry, guys. I pulled that out the top. Turn the bead over. Go back in the gold seed and the bicone only. Pull it to the top. Turn the bead over. Take another gold and go into the next four green on the next spoke. Just the green. Pull that out the top. Add a gold seed bead. Turn again and go back into the bicone and back into one gold seed bead. Now, you'll know you have it right if you end up with a bicon and two seed beads on the top and two seed beads on the bottom. All right, over here, bicon, two seed beads top, two seed beads bottom. Then you know you got it right. But you always got to finish with going down that same four green seed beads or beads four through seven. Again, you always got to finish that. Don't forget to finish that. I've forgotten many times and had to go back and redo it. Okay, we're going to take another gold seed bead, another bicon, and another gold seed bead. Back into those same four greens again that we just came out of. Pull. Turn. Go back into that seed. and into the bicone only, pull to the top. Always pull to the top. Just make you a little habit. Always pull to the top. That'll help you. Now we're going to add a seed bead, and we're going to turn. We're going down the next four green, the next spoke 
four green on the next spoke. I sure hope y'all can see. I hope that's making sense. Pull to the top. Boom, boom, boom. Add another gold seed bead. Turn. <laughs> Go back into the bicone only and one gold seed at the top. All right. Now, we're going to continue doing this. We've got three. We've got seven more. Okay, so here I am. I just did the ninth one and finished it by going through the four green seed beads. Now we're on the very last one. We're going to take our gold seed bead. We're going to take our bicone. And we're going to take one more gold seed bead. We're going to go back into those four green, just like we've been doing. Okay, and turn. Go back up into that last seed and the bicone only. Pull that down tight. Add a gold seed. Go into the next row, which is going to connect these all together. Those four greens, only the four greens. Add one more seed. Now we're going to go back up into the bicone and one seed, just like we did nine previous times. Now look around, count your beads, make sure you've got ten of the crystals all the way around. All right, and really that's all there is to it, guys. All we got to do now is lock it in. So I go through the next bead next to me, the seed, and go up to the top or the bottom, as the case may be. Doesn't matter. Now I'm up here where the gold ring is. So I'm going to go under the thread. I didn't go in a bead. I went under the thread, pull through a loop, and I'm going to go back, and I just did a little tack stitch. Pull it pretty tight. I'm going to go back in the same place under the thread, under the thread, not in a bead. I'm going to tack. Well, missed it. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to tack. Come on, you. Stop doing that. And I'm going to pull that loop down pretty far to the bottom, pretty close to the end. And I'm going to go one more time. That's a double tack and pull, 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 pull. All right, now we're going to go through wherever we can get through. I'm going through a couple of the golds. Sometimes you can't get through them again. <laughs> then I'm going to go down the spoke. Again, we're just locking things in. Down the four greens. Down the large dark one and the two pinks. And I'm on this end now. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go under the thread, not through a loop. I mean, not through a bead. Under the thread and make a tack. Make sure that tack stitch goes in between the two beads you want it to go through. Because we want to hide it. All right. We go under the thread again. Pull it down to almost there and go turned it somehow or another, and go one more time. All right, tack, tack, and pull that tight. Okay, now we want to keep going through. Let's choose which way to go, which way might be best. That way is pretty tight. We better try this direction. Let's see if we can get through a gold seed bead. Good. All right, then we're going to go down the next spoke by that gold seed bead. And I'm going now through the four greens. Oh, okay. It's not going to let me. So that's as far as I'm going to be able to go, which is fine. I've already tacked it twice and ran my thread in. Now what I do is just kind of pull it tight up against your bead and cut that thread so it doesn't show. And like I said, this little piece right here, um, this is the tail where we started. I'll take a toothpick and I'll put a little dot of glue right there. Cut that off, put a little dot of glue. Now all you got to do is find your hole, 
which I'm going to tell you, I searched, I bet you, for 10 minutes one time trying to find the hole to the bead because it slides around in there. So this one has a different color at the hole, so I was able to find it. So there's the hole. And then you just put it together any way you want to put it together. Isn't that gorgeous? So you've got the periwinkle on that side. You've got the pink on this side. You can mix and match those if you wanted to. Just doesn't matter. However you want to do it. But it just turns out to be an absolutely gorgeous bead. So there it is, guys. You can do it. I believe in you. Give it a try. It's fun. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.